Dear 2020, what a year you have been. A chapter in my big happy adventure I could never have written myself. I started the year in Spain with my husband and our best friends for our first ever adult holiday, celebrating the end of my 20s. Little did I know that when I returned to work the following week, I received a phone call from one of the Chinese travel agencies asking for a refund due to a flu. I remember laughing about it with my manager. Why would someone want that? Then the cancellations came and the country went into lockdown. I had to carry a letter that says I was travelling for work and working in an empty hotel and things changed very, very quickly. has been a year for all of us so many of us have done some soul searching this year and found new things and ways of changing their lifestyles for me the biggest thing that I've come to realize was I was going too fast This year's year in review is going to be focusing on the positives of every single month. Even though it didn't feel like it, something really good happened every month and I've got enough here to talk about. I've done the video a little bit different and I really hope you enjoy it because after all, 2020 wasn't really that bad. It was just different. January, as I already said, I spent in Spain on our first adult holiday. Phil and I normally travel with his parents, so it was a really nice change to be able to go and do things that we wanted to do. We had really good weather, a bit of sunshine, and it was just lovely after being so close to our Iceland trip. It was simply amazing. February, I got to spend some time with my person, Dickie, really close to her birthday. I was working so many hours on night shifts to cover sickness and I went to an award ceremony in London, like a really glitzy one. That's pretty much it. March, it started off so great. I became a Mental Health First Aid Champion, registered with Mental Health First Aid England, something I've been so passionate about for years. I finally hit pan on my hula, which is an epic feat if you know, you know. And I had an interview for a voluntary reposition on an internet magazine, as I'd already decided that this year was the year I wanted to give something back. Oh yeah, and Animal Crossing came out. saw me take so many here's my look selfies i was going to work in an empty hotel playing ac and yeah i mean look at this wonderful bunch of villagers i catch james smudge and myrtle and got excited to watch lame concert on my tv that's april in a nutshell may was the hardest month for me I'd had to take every day one step at a time because I just simply realised that I'd been going so fast and because I'd been forced to stop, it was really, really difficult. However, I started streaming on YouTube and was playing with more communities that I'd quickly become a huge part of. June was pretty much the same as May, yet I was enjoying not being back at work, perfectly honest. I had a really bad routine, I was living in EST, I changed my switch to it and I was staying up rather late. Got a new eyeshadow palette from my mum and I joined another community which I didn't know then but would very much become my lifeline for 2020. We celebrated a birthday with friends on Zooland and I streamed my ever first ever villager hunt. July saw me returning back to work. And what, what a cool to shock it was. Everything had changed and the job I loathed turned quickly into a job I loathe. Dark cloud loomed and I was spiralling. However, I did feel my AC addiction even more and made an Instagram full of Cosland. I posted almost every day and I love looking back on the pictures. 
August was so weird. I normally take time to be a creator for the weekend, but that was cancelled. But I finally got time to catch up with family, and it was so special. It had been so long we were able to go and see them. We actually went out to, a me to have a meal with my mum and everyone, and it was so, so lovely. I got a on Animal Crossing and spent time watching fireworks with my friends. September saw the start of fall on AC, and at this point, you think I'm a little bit addicted. I also made the move to make for take redundancy from the hotel and start something new. I started working for a ticket seller for a tour bus company in the city. I started to worry less about work and wandered into new content creators who taught me that wandering aimlessly is perfectly okay. And this is such an integral part of my big happy adventure today. October was so big for me. I moved my streaming to Twitch and I got affiliated on the 13th. This was amazing and I really enjoyed the sense of community that it's brought me. I love how I've adopted my, adopted my very own mascot, the Bean. Well, I am Bean, but I really should give him a name. Other than Cosbean, maybe that's an idea for the future. November, the country went back into lockdown and I finally had a schedule on Twitch. I was so ready to get back into content creation mindset I was already in. Lots more selfies, more Animal Crossing and some very bold ideas. An appearance on two on national radio as well. We started bullet journaling on stream and I got some amazing emotes made by my first ever Animal Crossing friend. As well as delivering a giveaway prize, socially distanced to a fellow Cosling. November was such a busy month. And here we are in December. Um, obviously got to finish the year properly. Um, and yeah, where are we now? So I'm sat here in front of you, in front of my whole computer setup, which is absolutely wild. Um, we have over 300 followers on Twitch. Um, and we're in a new job. We actually work, well me, I actually work in a makeup store. Like, ignore the husky voice it has been like this since christmas i overindulged okay but yeah december has been amazing we were able to go and spend christmas christmas day unfortunately wasn't with family it was with like family that like friends that are family if that makes sense but it was absolutely amazing um i've got my new job i started a new full-time job and yeah i look even though like twenty, like i'm sure i've already said this because i've typed it out already but even though like 2020 wasn't really what anybody expected if you told me at the beginning of the year that at the end of the year i would be sat here telling you that i've embarked on a new career with something to do with makeup that i'd be sat here with painted nails that i did that i did um that i would have a whole new internet family um just through playing a single game that wasn't world of warcraft or even the fact that i'd be back on world of warcraft i would have laughed you silly um but yeah so what is coming up so first thing is a little bit of sad news but it's not really sad i think you guys were expecting it um every january i do take off pretty much the whole month until after my birthday but this year i'm actually going to take up the whole month of january i am not going to be doing any youtube videos however that being said i will be over on my twitch every single week doing at least two streams um between the week of the 11th and the 17th i will be doing as many streams as i can fit in um uh, in and around my friends that are streaming that is the big announcement on my birthday this year because we can't go anywhere because i can't go and visit anybody i have decided that i'm going to be doing a 12 hour stream um we're gonna plan it in my bullet journal so that will be a bullet journal spread um there will be another video there will be another video coming um and it will literally just be me like editing down some twitch footage from um 
Christmas Eve. Um, my community over on Twitch really broke me. And I just want that up on my YouTube. But like again, it's not, it's a pre-recorded video. It's not a proper sit-down video. Um, but yeah, so on the 18th of January, I will be doing a 12-hour live stream. And as an extra add-on bonus to that, I'm teaming up with nine amazing creators here on you some on youtube some on twitch they're both everywhere and we are raising money for direct relief for covid19 support um obviously if you don't know but our good friend bobby um is actually in hospital still with coronavirus at the moment with covid19 and it's just been an absolutely horrible year so in order to that, me and these nine other wonderful people, my friends, are we're making a team called KK Charity, and all the way through, and my birthday stream will be a 12-hour, it will be a charity live stream, and I cannot wait. I'm gonna leave it here. I hope that out of something you've taken away from this video, that even though that 2020 has just been an amazing downfall of a year that there has something positive has been part of it every single like if something happened something good find something good in everything and remember to keep living that big happy adventure stay positive and yeah i'll see you in february take care guys bye 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 bye, bye.